I'm telling you the truth. Are you stressed? Join the club. We're all uh, pretty stressed almost all of the time, right? It's um, actually kind of scary how stressed we all are. And that's not even just counting when you're like, oh my God, I'm so stressed and like really feeling stressed out. We're, f we're facing like subconscious stress all the time. We are always bombarded with so much information on the news, social media, every time you pick up your phone, walk outside, talk to anybody. It's just a lot of stuff happening all at once. And our bodies are not really, you know, used to having to deal with that. But somehow we adapt and we keep moving, right? But when we don't adapt, that's when the problems happen. So what a perfect intro to something called adaptogens. Sounds like they're gonna help you adapt, right? You are right. That is exactly what adaptogens do. So adaptogens, they've been around for mad long, just like black seed oil, mad long. Thousands it's of years. Thousands of years. They've been out here crushing it and helping people feel their best. Ayurvedic medicine, all that, but it wasn't really until the mid 1900s that uh, the term adaptogen was coined. And that was coined because uh, from actually a Soviet scientist because they were using adaptogens like ashwagandha to keep Soviet soldiers focused on um, point during battle. That's how good adaptogens work. You can use them in time of war. Talk about extreme stress. Fucking war. That's fucking crazy. So they were using adaptogens to help them out with that. All right, so stress can really be broken down like this. This is like your body's stress response or what's called the general adaptation syndrome. So you're like chilling, homeostasis, homeostasis, everything's cool, I'm leveled out, I'm chill, and then boom, the alarm stage goes off. That's when your stress hits, your cortisol levels spike up, and your body goes into the flight, fight or flight response. She's just chilling right now. <laughs> and when your body is in fight or flight, it is reacting to stress, and it is being alarmed, right? The stage after that, that is, uh, after the alarm stage, is called resistance. Resistance is when your body is putting up a fight. So that, you know, again, would be your fight or flight response, right? That's your response to the alarm that happened. So after your body uh, goes through that resistance phase, it will hit exhaustion. So what do we do to avoid hitting that exhaustion phase is we use something called adaptogens. So you see how it all works, works together, general, general adaptation syndrome, adaptogens. We want to adapt. Adapting allows us to continue to be in that resistance phase and not hit the exhaustion phase. The exhaustion phase is that point when you feel like you hit rock bottom. And you ever like hit rock bottom and then just realize that that's not bottom at all. I am so much lower than I was yesterday. We've been there. But adaptogens will help you at the very least keep rock bottom at one place. At the very most, climb out of that fucking hole. So. Why this is important, right? Why do we care about adaptogens? Because it's, like I said, it's really hard to avoid stress completely these days, right? It's just really hard to be like, whatever, I'm just gonna live a really mellow life and not be stressed out. Because like I said, you might not even realize how stressed you are. You might not realize what looking at screens all the time is doing to you. You might not realize what your diet is doing to you. Stress is not just mental stress. It's also physical stress. It could just be from working out too hard and not recovering properly. That's stress on your body. So what adaptogens do is help increase your capacity or increase your body's defense against these stressors. So how does it do that? It helps to regulate all these different physiological systems in our bodies. It helps regulate your adrenal output. It helps regulate your serotonin levels. It helps re regulate your cortisol levels, helps regulate all these different things, um, sleep, mood, energy, all these different things that are really, uh, you know, you, know, you want to be, you want to keep them level, right? You don't want to have too much energy. You don't want to have too little energy. You don't want your adrenal output to be super high, but you don't want it to be super low. Everything you most want it existing in what we like to call the Goldilocks zone. That is where everything is just right. So what we do with uh, our blends at Tonic is try to increase the adaptogenic powers of things like ashwagandha and CBD. So if you are a strict herbalist, you might come at me and be like, hey, CBD is not an adaptogen in the clinical, technical sense of the term. You're right, I'll give you that, okay. But in the sense that it helps your body adapt and get to homeostasis and the, in the sense that the endocannabinoid system's job is to maintain a stable internal environment despite changes in your external environment, 
I would argue that cannabis is going to be on that list at some point. Just mark my words. Wait and see. So, hit me. OG. That was a fucking nice lineup. Perfect. So, <laughs> OG combines two powerful adaptogens. That it would be CBD and ashwagandha. So ashwagandha is really great for its ability to lower cortisol levels. Um, that adrenal output that I was talking about, that's really what um, ashwagandha does best. That's kind of it, its uh, claim to fame right there and what real, how it really works super well with CBD because what CBD does is help to um, help you achieve balance, helps uh, relieve anxiety and stress, helps improve mental clarity, Ashwagandha does all those things as well, but they're just taking different roads to get there. So they both have the same end goal, but taking those different routes to get there, essentially covering more ground and doing a better job, right? Being more efficient at getting that job of uh, stress release, mental clarity, uh, balanced mood, balanced energy levels, all that good stuff that you can come to uh, expect and love with adaptogens, you get that with the OG. And I have to say, it's my baby. It's a very special place in my heart. Look at this. Look how beautiful you are. Oh, you're so beautiful. My, my baby little OG. I'm not going to take it now because then I'll be trying to talk with stuff under my tongue and it's not going to be pretty. I'll drool and Haley will make fun of me. So what I am going to say about, about my baby, the OG, it's my firstborn. This is, it's called the OG because it's the original blend that started it all with tonic. I was looking for something personally that would help my depression and anxiety um, help help me maintain my energy levels throughout the day and not kind of fall into those holes. And um, cannabis was really the only thing that was able to help me like that. Um, besides ashwagandha, um, adaptogens like that I was using in my routine and it would kind of get me almost to where I wanted to be, but not fully. And the problem with consuming cannabis all day was that I was getting a little bit too high to you know function throughout my work day. You know, it was hard to kind of predict uh, what what that high was going to be like and how I'd be able to manage it or if I get too sleepy throughout the day. So this is when I um, discovered CBD. This was, you know, three, four years ago and I haven't looked back since. What happened was I started to use the CBD and it was amazing. It was um, a lot better than I actually even expected because I thought that it was kind of like this knockoff weed. I was like, I don't know, I don't know what this hemp stuff is. I don't know if this is going to work, but figured it was worth a shot, tried it out and obviously it worked wonders, but what the like real where the real magic came in was when I started to combine it with ashwagandha, and that was you know after I realized that CBD holds all these properties that were very similar to, to adaptogens in the classical sense of the term. You know, um, something that uh, I was kind of learning about a lot in my uh, nutrition studies and things like that about, as I was working as a health coach was adaptogens and their effects. And that's why when I started to learn more about CBD and the endocannabinoid system, these things just started to click. And I was like, this is how, you know, I can essentially get all the way to the finish line, right? It's like both, both were getting me almost to where I needed to be, but it wasn't until I started to combine them that I really saw the differences that I wanted to see. You know, I was really got that increased mental clarity, mood balancing, no anxiety, um, really like social anxiety, something that I, I deal with a lot. And then depression is really kind of where it, it hits harder for me. So the OG for me is the go-to because it's more of an awakening and um, balancing blend. Whereas the chill might be a little bit too calming if you're somebody that already is more on the depressive side of, of the symptoms. So that's really, you know, why OG is my favorite personally, he's my little baby, but also why adaptogens are so important to keep in your, in your routine, especially during times like this, when, you know, we're susceptible to so much stress, stress lowers our immune response and it just kind of can create this cascading effect, uh, this shit storm, if you will, that we are living in right now. Right. And this can, that shit storm will just kind of keep blowing up more shit until you calm it down a little bit within your own life. So that's what adaptogens can help you do. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Stay tuned for more, maybe.